All right, we've got a lot going on today. So welcome to Unchained Skid, Unchained Your Mind. We're gonna do a bit of a deep dive today into some meditation, although not for very long. Specifically probing the question of, is there a self? What you'll notice is some guys who, uh, who teach meditation teach that eventually you find that there is no self. Sorry, just checking some stuff here. All right, now, <coughs> What they mean is that as you get into the practice, the, the, uh, the question of self starts to go away. Now, I find that somewhat unsatisfying, mostly because it's not defining things well enough. So let's dig into that over the next couple of minutes and see what I mean. So the first thing I think we should do is define some terms. So the first term we should define is what meditation is. So meditation to me is a detailed, methodical examination of conscious thought. Okay, does it have benefits? Sure, I think it does. That's a subject for another video. But if it's an examination of conscious thought, there must be an examiner. No? So if there's an examiner, is there, if there's an examiner, is that not the self? Well, the teachers would tell you that as you proceed along, as opposed to being on the shore of a river, as you're watching um, thoughts go by on the river, you eventually find that you are part of the river. And I would say that in my experience, I think that is true. So is there so much an examiner or not? I would agree with them that there is not. However, there must be a self. Look around you, there's trees here, there's cars. There are things that are separate from the universe. You and I are separate from the universe. Not only that, as conscious beings, we are able to enact our will on the universe. Now, is there a free will or not? That's a subject for another video coming up later. But the fact of the matter is there must be something doing the moving, something doing the will, something doing the examining, something thinking. That must be the self. Let me give you an analogy to help describe this. Imagine a computer screen. You're looking at the computer screen and you see programs that are opening, closing, running, all that stuff. Imagine that that is the landscape of your conscious mind. That's you looking at what you're thinking. Now this computer is very interesting. It has a program running inside it that can, can actually control the mouse pointer. So this computer is capable of running its own programs. That's your conscious will. Now there's a lot of stuff in that computer that is not accessible via the screen. It is true, this is your unconscious mind. So the real question is, is anybody actually watching the screen? Is there somebody sitting there in front of it? No, there is not. And in that sense, there is no self. But what there is sitting in front of that screen is a webcam. And that webcam feeds right back into that same computer. And you're like, well, how does that make sense? The webcam is seeing the screen, but the screen is representing the webcam. Yes, it's recursive. It is what Douglas Hofstadter would call a strange loop. And for uh, his books, I'll put some links in the description because they're awesome. So any self-aware strange loop, which is what you are and what I am, is what I would call intelligence. Okay, and by the way, as a sidebar, in my game Caves of Jenks Rathra, which is way more than a game, it's a uh, philosophical discussion, we we'll go into this in, uh, in some detail. Okay, so where do we make the mistake? The mistake is that the self is the entire computer system. It's not the webcam. So if you're thinking, oh, what is doing the observing is the webcam, that is incorrect. And that is the illusion that starts to disappear with enough meditation. It's not the webcam. It's the entire computer system itself. And with enough meditation, you start to get in touch with more of what's going on deeper inside that computer. Well, that's all I really have to say about that right now. Uh, keep it nice and short. Hopefully, whether you meditate or not, this will provoke some discussion for you or some thought. I welcome all your comments and uh, be very interested to uh, talk about this some more. As you can see, I got a lot going on here today, so we'll see if uh, this editing works out. Anyway, have a good one and we'll talk to you soon. Freedom.